what's going on guys and welcome back terror squad to another reaction of my hero academia we free balling it today you know what i'm saying depends on how i'm feeling i might just give you five or six episodes you know what i'm saying yeah because we're right in the thick of things right now ua versus the world <laughs> no us ua versus the rest of japan <laughs> right so um we left off with todoroki in some sort of trouble with you know him being by himself against these other guys that are out these guys that are just like ninja for some reason <laughs> you know do they all have the same quirk why are they all dressed up the same way like they don't have their own they don't have no um style about them you know it's like they were in their school uniforms to work <laughs> you know what i mean it was crazy anyways we're going to jump into these reacts we're not going to waste any time because the longer i stay here is the let's just go watch the show and i'll see you guys for the review what's going on guys welcome back for the review of these five episodes or six episodes if you want to call it six episodes not really six episodes because um you guys are not going to get to see me watch episode 58 because episode 58 was a filler okay i did watch it it was cool but i don't want to talk about that we all about the main story over here so but uh, but also thank you guys for not telling me that there was a filler <laughs> you know but not a big deal we moving on so provisional license exam whatever cool stuff saw some new quirks that were pretty cool um but the biggest thing about it is what i want to talk about because i don't want to talk about the extra stuff the biggest thing this girl that was trolling deku during the exam that was like hi you know what i'm saying it's the same shit she been doing that i just didn't couldn't pick up on it because i was like we never knew what her quirk was they never showed us what her quirk was so i never knew what her, qu her quirk was she can transform into other people because i was like what is this fascination that she has with blood has it has to do with something but we never saw her actually transform into anyone so it was kind of it was kind of weird. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, nah, she can't turn other people. No, that's somebody else's quirk. Um, so yeah, I never knew why she wanted the blood. But then when I actually, you know, they showed the scene, I was like, oh shit, that's that's actually her. You know what I'm saying? Because. You know, I, I was saying, like, why? what's her fascination? Why does she want other people's blood? You know what I'm saying? Because we ha already had the stain situation. So it was like, what does she have to do with blood now? You know what I mean? So, but she, when she has the blood of other people, she can transform into them. So I wonder if she needs a certain amount or she just needs, like, a drop. It doesn't matter. Or maybe the amount of blood determines how long she can stay and stay transformed as that person maybe that's how it works um so that was very surprising to see the talk between all might and awful one it's pretty cool to hear to hear off one talk you know about this stuff it's very 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 informative you know so i like it it was very informative it was very like very typical you know typical sit um typical situation typical conversation between a villain and a hero classic by the way batman and joker interrogation from um the dark knight if you have not seen that movie go see that movie i mean that was a little bit more brutal but it's this, it's that dynamic you get what i'm saying that dynamic was present between off one and all might that was pretty cool so um interesting conversation we still don't know why he's choosing a successor because we don't know if he's choosing him so he can break him out of prison or if he actually has passed his quirk on that's still not clear to us so um 
So I'm guessing things are seeing things are going to ramp up now that you know it's only Todoroki and Bakugou that didn't get their provisional license, but they will be able to attain it through this three month course that they have to do, and they might even come out of this course better heroes than who actually passed at that time. So um looking forward to that if they actually show footage of that that would be pretty cool so yeah man that's pretty much all i have to say for this review um i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking of anything that happened that um the situation between bakugo and deku that's happening right now him kind of deducing what's been going on and kind of breaking it down as to why he thinks that you know deku that all might is choosing him as the successor or all might has given him a quirk brilliant breakdown we know that bakugo is a smart dude he's he's not an idiot he just acts strange <laughs> you know so i'm definitely seeing where he's coming from and how he deduced the whole situation like a top-notch detective you know so deku asked him like what are you going to do with the answer i need to know because if I tell you the truth, what are you going to do? I don't think I don't think anybody's I don't I don't the thing about it is this. The thing about the whole DNA passing down thing, like you um the person has to want to pass it on. I know it's kind of like a weird thing. The you know, it's a weird rule to the quirk. It's like you have to want to pass it on. Like any and anybody can't just lick your blood or something like that as we see from the example of stain licking deku's blood like you know you know i wasn't even thinking of that when the fight was going on but then after the fact when all might brought it up no when deku brought it up and all might is like you have to want to pass on one for all for it to actually be passed on it can't be just anybody can't just take your dna and get one for all so pretty cool um so yeah that so um i don't think i think the people know about um all might you know hero state versus his regular state you know um finn versus thick you know i know they know about that but i don't think they know about his quirk i don't think they know the secrets to his quirk um i think there's probably only um um is master is teacher that knows about the quirk i i don't um i can't remember his name right now <laughs> so the guy that taught deku um so his name is like whoop over my head right now out of mind so is it's crazy so if i remember while i'm still doing this you know yeah i'll remember eventually so so yeah i think he's the only one that knows the secrets to the quirk you know um as in people that he knows that he could trust you get what i'm saying um all for one knows about it he knows that he that it can be passed down um also also um there's no reason not to to really think that um shimura or as uh, you know what's his name tamura whatever you want to call him shigaraki there's no reason to think he doesn't know. I think All for One has told him about um, One for All. So I'm just going to assume that he knows. Okay. So that's on the bad side. On the good side, I think um, the old dude is the only one that knows um, that knows about it. So we, we'll see. We'll see how things turn out. I'm definitely looking forward to watching more of my hero academia there's nothing super exciting going on right now but these are episodes that build the world so i'm all for it um you know keep them busy keep the the um these heroes training man and it was good to see other schools other um kids that are training to be heroes um so yeah that was pretty cool so yeah man thank you guys for tuning in as always why did my camera just freeze uh, um well my camera just decided to freeze so i don't know what's happening you know we're still recording so i don't know i don't know what happened my camera just decided to freeze 
So if you're hearing my voice still, just remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment in the comment section, and your boy will get to you, all right? For now, thank you guys so much, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.